What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Matt Bratton from tmbanalytics.com, and you can call me Matty B, because I think we're friends now, right? Okay, in this video, I'm gonna share with you all my top three data analyst expectations versus reality tidbits that I've gathered over the past decade of hiring and training new analysts. Never mind the 16 plus years that I've been an analyst myself, okay? Now, I could have made a three hour feature length film documenting all the misrepresentations, skewed expectations that budding analysts experience when jumping into their first real analyst role, but I wanted to keep it punchy and that's why I painstakingly narrowed it down to my favorite three. And these are three that I happen to be extremely passionate about You'll see why in a few minutes here. So let's just jump right in with the first one, shall we? So here's the expectation. You are either interested in or studying to be an analyst, learning this stuff about data, analytical methods, tools, and all that jazz, right? So you must be pretty smart. You must uh, understand a lot about business because after all, if you're gonna be asked to perform analyses for other departments and help them glean valuable insights that they must just not have the skills to figure out, then you must be, right? So stand up straight, recognize your brilliance. You're going straight to the top, my friend. Wrong. But Matt, I'm smart, I'm talented, and as soon as I get into that job, they're gonna immediately see my brilliance and I'll become the right-hand man to the CEO. Look, I get it, okay? I remember my first job out of college like it was yesterday, and you know what the best thing to ever happen to me was? I got absolutely annihilated in my first big boy interview, and it was pointed out to me in a profane tongue lashing that I deserved, by the way, that I did not, in fact, know anything, despite what the summa cum laude stamp on my diploma or the pile of academic accolades sitting in my closet might have had me believe. So the truth was I knew nothing about business, and it's impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Not only that, it's amazing how much you have to know before you know how little you know. Those are two of my favorite quotes, by the way. I didn't just pick those up. So looking back now, I can honestly say that I was fortunate to have been told from the outset that not only was I not as smart nor special as I thought, but that the need to check my ego at the door every day was imperative to my growth, not just as a professional, but as a person, okay? I actually got that job, if you can believe it or not, and it set the tone for my career, which I have dedicated to learning and trying to stay humble and hungry and as possible, and it's just, it's taken me far. So the punchline here is, you may have a fire in your belly, and I respect that, but if you don't check your ego and listen more than you speak as you get started, you're gonna be missing out on a number of learning opportunities, and because of that, you're gonna be in for a long, underwhelming career of stagnation, constantly feeling underutilized, underappreciated, which brings me to my second tidbit, okay? Look at this dude, look at this dude right here. This is what most people think about when they think about becoming an analyst, right? We've got this lone ranger analyst burning the midnight oil, putting together some incredible visualizations all by his lonesome. He's likely at the top of an ivory tower somewhere where he's gonna develop the strategy that's gonna save his company millions, no, billions of dollars right? Wrong. If you think you're going to walk into the company and immediately be handed the big sexy quandaries and difficult questions that the business has and the whole company is going to be counting on you, no, they're going to be eagerly waiting on you to emerge from your battle station to give authoritative results telling the company what comes next. I regret to inform you, but no. No. You know what you're going to probably start on? Reporting. Maybe the occasional ad hoc request, build versus buy, you know, something like that. Look, you, I'm sorry, you're useless if you don't understand the business model for the company that you work in. Likewise, as an analyst, you need to understand all the different sources and uses of data, okay? Therefore, it often makes sense to get you up to speed by way of sicking you on the reports that need to be produced, right? Which is awesome, actually, if you think about it. I mean, you get to get familiar with data sources, the queries used to extract the pertinent data, how to identify when the data is unclean or if there's issues with it, right? You get to produce something that's hopefully of value within the organization, and you even likely have opportunities to get feedback on the reports from stakeholders and have a chance to make them better. But for some reason, new analysts get all butt hurt when they're you know tasked with managing reporting workflows or producing reports out the gates. Look, order of learning operations is important. You have to start somewhere, and if you can't demonstrate 
an interest in taking ownership of the basic tasks like reporting and understanding data hygiene and seeing what the possibilities are with the data you have, then perhaps you should reconsider your choice and career, okay? But Matt, I know Python. This is a waste of my talents. Shut up, noob. Meet me at tidbit number three. Oh yes, we have arrived at the most common piece of terrible advice I hear from analysts, usually with maybe three to five years of experience when they're talking to budding analysts, okay? And it goes something like this. Just learn Python, SQL and Tableau and you'll be all set. Right, just learn all these things and you'll be a rock star, right? Newsflash, 90% of the world operates on Excel still, okay? So if there's anything that you wanna to learn to get started, hit the ground running, it's basic proficiency in Excel. But the issue here is, what's that? What's that sound? It sounded like a whoosh of wind going right over my head. Yeah, that's right. Guess what? SQL, Tableau, Excel, Python, these all have something in common. You know what that is? They are tools. They are not analysis. You are the analyst and you use these tools to help you do a better job. Holy crap, seriously guys, look. This whole thing that you need to know some programming language is about as vague and disingenuous as you can get for people getting started. Because here's the deal. To say you know something implies some level of mastery, which you simply aren't going to get without putting in years of work using said tool in the trenches. I hate to break it to you, but that's reality. So where does that leave us? Well, if you wanted to take your advice and make it a little bit more valuable, I'd say that you should be telling people, hey, you ever heard of SQL, Python, Tableau? Yeah, great. I'd advise that you understand, number one, what they are, number two, what they're used for, and three, how can they help you? What is their use case to be optimized, right? Then maybe sign up for some Udemy boot camps and tinker around. But when it comes to interviewing and talking about this stuff and simply being familiar with them and what they're used for, what they do, what they do well, that's gonna take you much farther than stressing about not knowing them or having this massive portfolio showing off all of the amazing things you've done in all these languages, right? I'm gonna be honest, what I've seen this lead to is lying on your resume and overstating your skills. So just knock it off, would you? And learn some Excel. <laughs> Whew, that escalated quickly, didn't it? Anyway, those are just my top three. And if you're an analyst watching this, hey, tell me in the comments, what, what have you felt were your biggest expectations versus reality shockers that you've seen or come across in your career so far? Lastly, if you enjoyed this and you want to get first dibs on future content all about things analytics careers, please subscribe to this channel, hit that little bell thing, and you will be notified weekly as new videos drop. So that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.